Welcome to Eclipse and Java for Total Beginners. I'm Mark Dexter, your instructor. This tutorial will help you get started writing Java programs using Eclipse. Before we begin, please download the tutorial companion document. Also, you'll get the most from this tutorial if you have Eclipse installed on your computer and work along with the lessons. If you don't already have Eclipse installed, just follow the instructions in the companion document. OK, let's get started. When we launch Eclipse, we are asked for the workspace. This is just a directory on our system where all of our Eclipse files will be saved. Here we're running Windows XP and have installed Eclipse in C colon backslash Eclipse. Our workspace is installed in the same directory. The workspace you will use will depend on what type of computer you're using and where you installed Eclipse. One of the great things about Eclipse and Java is that they run on multiple platforms. If you've already set up Eclipse in a different directory, it's fine to just use that directory and workspace. The first time Eclipse starts, it displays a welcome screen. This has an overview, what's new, samples, and tutorials. We'll close it now. We can open the welcome screen anytime we want by selecting Help, Welcome, and you might want to explore this on your own. The first thing we need to do is create our project. A Java project contains source code and related files for building a Java program. To create the project, we're going to use the New Project Wizard found on the File, New, Project, Java, Java Project. So press Next to launch the wizard. We'll type in Total Beginner for the project name. Move this up so you can see. Press Next. Here we'll take the default options and press Finish. Now it asks if we want a, the project to be associated with the Java perspective and we say Yes. And now Eclipse has created our project. Next we need to create a Java package to hold our source files. A package in Java is a way to group related source files together. We'll talk more about packages as we go along. To create the package, we select the folder, we right click, New, Package, and the naming convention for packages is normally to put your full URL plus the package name, so we'll type org dot total beginner dot tutorial press finish and now we have our package so we've got project and package before we start coding let's take a minute to discuss what our application will do we're going to write a small sample application to track our personal library of books we're also going to include a list of people to whom we loan our books. The application will have three Java classes. One called Person, which will have the person's name and a number, which will be the maximum number of books that this person can borrow at any one time. The Book class will have fields for title, author, and the person who is currently borrowing the book. Finally, we'll create a class called My Library which will contain a list of all of our books and a list of all the people who might borrow them. Now we're ready to write our first Java code. You've probably heard about objects and object-oriented programming. A class is a blueprint for creating objects. We'll start with a very simple class called Person. Creating a class is easy. We'll just select the package, right-click, select New, class and we get a wizard. We'll put in the name of the class, person, press finish, and Eclipse has created the class for us. Next, let's make the text in the edit window a little bigger so it'll be easier to see as we go through these lessons. So we're going to go Window, Preferences, and we're going to open up General, Appearance, Colors and Fonts. We're going to go into Java, Java Editor Text Font That's what we want. Then we're going to press the Change button and we'll just make it 12 
point and bold to make it a little easier to see. So we'll press OK and now the font's a little bigger. Let's look at what we have so far. The first line is the name of the package where the class is created and of course it's the same as what we have here or total beginner tutorial. Notice that the line ends in a semicolon and we'll see that a lot more. Uh, the next thing is what's called the class declaration where we tell Eclipse this is a class. We're saying public we'll talk about what that means later on public class person and then we've got this open and closed set of curly braces. Now everything about this class has to go between these two curly bla braces. For now I'm going to create a simple class and briefly explain what I'm doing as we go along. This will give you a quick overview of a Java class. Don't worry. We're going to come back and go into a lot more detail about writing Java class and methods and code later on. Now to, to give us a little bit more space I, what I can do is I can go up here and double click on the tab here and that will maximize the editor window within the Eclipse workbench. So the first thing we normally put in a class are what are called the fields which are basically the data elements that the class holds. So I'm going to put in a comment with two forward slashes and say these are the fields. Then I'm going to type the fields. This is a very simple class. It only has a couple fields. I'm going to say private string name. Name of the person. And then private int maximum books. Most books the person can check out. And since I'm very uh, safety oriented, I'm going to save this right now. Now you can see that Eclipse is formatting and color coding the Java code as I type. For example, the words package, public, class, private, and int are in red. That indicates that these are Java reserved words or keywords. So we can't use any of those words for our own uh, variable or method names. Now it's important to note that in Java all names are case sensitive. So for example if I go up here and change this capital P in person to a lowercase p, Eclipse now indicates that there's an error. And if I hover on that it's telling me that uh, this is a new class and it needs to be defined in its own file. So Java is telling me that person with a lowercase p is not the same as person with an uppercase p. So I'm going to go back and change that to an uppercase p. As an aside, you can see that Eclipse is always checking our code to report errors right away. It doesn't wait until we compile the code. It's checking it as we type, which is a really a nice feature and, and saves a lot of time. Okay, back to upper and lower case for a minute. It's strongly recommended in Java that names of classes be capitalized and that names of variables and methods start with a lowercase letter. Now in compound names such as maximum books, we capitalize the first letter in all the other words except the first word. So book is capitalized but maximum's not. Now we have our two fields in the class. The next thing that a class normally has is a constructor. A constructor is a special block of code whose job is to initialize the object. This is done by setting the fields to their initial values. So we'll type in the constructor. We'll start with a comment. Now normally we would only put in comments in portions of the code that are not self-explanatory. We've added them here just for clarity. Next we'll type public space and then person in capitals with parentheses. This is called the declaration of the constructor and it's just the name of the class plus any parameters to the constructor. In our case there are no parameters so we just have empty parentheses. The body of the constructor is a block of code between curly braces. There's some little things going on with Eclipse as I type this that you may be noticing. For example if, when I hit the open curly brace and hit enter Eclipse is putting in the second curly brace for me. It did the same thing on the parentheses up here. 
because Eclipse knows that if I have an open parentheses or open curly brace, I need a closing one. So now we'll type in the body of the constructor. First thing I'm going to do is say name equals unknown name. Now I'm going to show off a feature in Eclipse called Code Assist. I'm going to type max, hit control space, and since I've got a f field up here called maximum books, Eclipse's first guess is that I might be typing maximum books. So if I just hit enter now, it finishes that for me. That's really handy when you have long variable names. So now I'm going to set maximum books equal to 3, put a semicolon to end my line, and I'm now done with my constructor. I'm going to save my code, and now I have a complete class. It doesn't do much, but it does know how to build itself using the constructor. We're off to a great start. We've learned a little about Eclipse and written our first Java class. In the next lesson, we're going to look at some more Eclipse functionality and add some methods to the person class. This is the end of Lesson 1. I'm Mark Dexter saying so long for now.